loves. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited about this video. We are going to be talking about Essence Cosmetics put together a mostly full face. I am missing some products. Um, but if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing, you wanna know how I got this look here, then just keep watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. You can ring the notification bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload a video. And if you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you give this video a like. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithms. And you can also find me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's get right to it. All right, so I've got my box of goodies here. Most everything I've kind of already unwrapped with the exception of the foundation, just because I kind of wanted to read you guys. Uh, the little box. Essence Beauty is affordable makeup that is vegan and cruelty free. It can be found in a couple of different drug stores. You can also buy it online at essencecosmetics.com, I believe it is. I'll make sure I put a link down below for you guys. I went ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff from their website. It's awesome because you get free shipping over 20 bucks. All right, so we're gonna start out with primer. This is the Prime Plus Studio. It's the poreless and skin blurring putty primer and it's silicone free. It's supposed to be smoothing and it has squalene in it, which is awesome. So we'll just squeeze out a little bit. It's kind of like a pink. I don't wanna do like too much, but I'm gonna kind of rub it together here in my fingers. And then I'm gonna actually just kind of pat it on. It feels, um, really lightweight, like it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. Um, and I feel like I can see just right off the bat, it take down any kind of shininess I have going on because I do have moisturizer on. And full di disclosure, <laughs> I was trying to film a Reels earlier and just for some reason, like the makeup was just not sitting right on my face, dog hair. And I don't know, I just have some like weird kind of like dry patch area here. You can kind of see that it's all red. So I honestly don't even know how makeup is gonna sit on this area of my face. But you know, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna roll with it. And if my makeup looks like crap, well, that's just what we got. So yeah, that feels very lightweight. Maybe just like a teeny bit tacky, which is nice to have in a primer because I feel like that really like adheres your foundation and concealer to your face. That's what we want. We want glue. We don't want it moving around. We don't want to slip it around. Now, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Taylor Wynn, talks about this foundation all the time, says it's her holy grail. It's amazing and I'm really curious about it. So this is called the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. It's got hyaluronic acid and aloe vera in it. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear, okay? Long lasting hydration and I got the lightest color 010 Cool Porcelain. Again, vegan cruelty free. With hyaluronic acid and aloe vera, 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturization. <laughs> with a natural coverage finish and weightless skin feel. It's made in Italy. Well, ha, ha, very fancy. I'm gonna go ahead and just use uh, my sponge that I normally use. This is a little squeezy tube. It is 1.01 fluid ounce, which is the standard for most foundations. Just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand there. I don't know how much to use, it's probably a lot. But that's okay, the color looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna kind of spread this out and just bounce my sponge in there and just go in, get the dog hair off my face. Just trying to see if it's gonna stick to this weird patchy area I got going on. It definitely feels very hydrating. It feels very lightweight. So if you're somebody who has oily skin, um, you know, you might need to steer clear of a foundation like this, but you can always use like different powders and stuff like that to help kind of mattify what's going on. I mean, we wanna have hydration regardless. 
if you have oily or dry skin. I mean, I would say with a sponge, maybe like a light medium coverage, uh, nothing too heavy. I can still see, uh, you know, some of my smaller freckles and, and redness and stuff like that. Um, it may be different if you apply it with a brush, so I'll have to try that out as well. So then we're gonna go ahead in with a concealer. This is the Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer. Um, oh, this The cap is made with 94% recycled plastic. Pretty cool there. So it's ultra covering liquid concealer with a matte finish. Covers instantly dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos, long lasting and waterproof. Those are some claims, so. I mean, hopefully this, this works really well. I tend to have really creasy under eyes, I guess. I typically don't go in with something matte because I feel like that really emphasizes those lines and I am going to go in with a very light hand uh, just because I don't want to really weigh down that area. So what I'm gonna do is actually apply this shade just to the back of my hand like this and then I'm going to bounce in my little sponge here and, and go into the under eyes. That way I don't accidentally put too much, too much down. I kind of wish that they would have slightly lighter tones. Um, I don't think their shade range is the best that it could be. So it'd be nice if they could maybe work on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just draw in some areas that I want to get a little bit extra coverage. I'm gonna look kind of up close just to see what it is that I'm seeing. Um, so again, I mean, I feel like the foundation is very hydrating, but then using that matte concealer over top, I feel like it's um, kind of emphasizing any of the dry patches that I have going on, like a little bit over here where I said I had a patch and then also very, um, a little bit dry patchy over here on this side of my nose. I don't think that's to any fault of the makeup itself. It's more or less just my skin, but I'm gonna obviously keep using it and testing it out. We're gonna move on with setting the makeup. So they do have like a trans, not translucent, but a loose powder that you can buy. The only thing is it does come in shades and the lightest shade they had in the jar to me, it looked, like it was pulling more yellow and a little bit too pigmented for me. Like if I were to use that on my face, I feel like it would almost be kind of muddy looking. So I didn't really want to try that. Um, but they do have this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So this isn't in any way like a baking powder, but it can get the job done. So I'm gonna go in with just kind of a fluffy brush right here and just go underneath right here on my eyes, kind of mattify my eyelids. I'm gonna go in with a bigger fluffy brush here and just kind of lightly dust this all over. I didn't grab any bronzer from Essence, so I'm just gonna go in with an, my regular bronzer, the Physician's Formula, and just kind of warm up the face a little bit. For blush, I have, let me grab it. It's Blush Lighter is what it's called, so it's a gradient powder blush, so it has like a peachy shade right here. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting and all, but kind of peachy, and then it goes into like a highlighter, so this is a two, in one type product. So 
I don't have a brow pencil from them. I guess I just kind of spaced that. I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia and uh, just draw my brows and I'll be right back. On, we're gonna go ahead and work on the eyeshadow. So they have lots of these uh, little eyeshadow palettes. I guess there's six shades per palette. This one is very unique, I thought. So this one's called Taupe It Up Eyeshadow Palette. And it actually comes with cool toned shades, like kind of grays and silvers. I just thought this color store was so unique because you usually don't see a ton of cool toned shades out on the market. Take a fluffy blending brush here and I'm gonna go over my entire lid. Since I'm just doing a quick eye, I'm not gonna be applying any eyeshadow primer um, just because I don't really wanna do anything dramatic. I just kinda wanna do a quick, easy eye look. Then I'm gonna graduate up and go into this next lightest matte shade and again, just kind of go in circular motions, blend it all over the lid. I guess I could move you guys in a little bit. That way you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna graduate into the gray shade and focus that just right at the crease. And as we get to the edge, that outer edge, I'm just gonna kinda drag the shade back to the lash line. So this shadow, super easy to blend um, and really nice shades to build up is what I'm noticing. It's just really fun to work with these cool shades. I'm liking how that's looking and then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger and I'm gonna go into, I think this lighter silver metallic and just gonna press that on there with my finger. Well, I have to say this is definitely not <laughs> the most pigmented shade that I have ever used. It's kind of lackluster. It looks better in the pan than it does on the eye, to be honest with you. But if you want a like subtle metallic kind of glow, nothing that's like over the top, this would be it for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner. This is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen and it's waterproof and this is just the shade, um, it's just black, it doesn't have a shade on it, just the black one. Woo, that is a, <laughs> that is a very long tip. Okay. This is either going to be easy to work with or not easy to work with, so I guess we'll find out here. Pretty nice and, and pigmented. It goes on pretty easily, especially over um, the metallic shade, which is nice. I already curled my eyelashes um, just after I applied my eyebrows. So then we're gonna go ahead in with mascara. Now this is one of my favorite products from Essence. This is called the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And it's fun because they actually have limited edition Disney packaging here. So this one has Snow White on it. So I thought that was super cute. Really good, nice volumizing mascara. Has kind of a typical mascara wand. And honestly, I feel like the trick with this mascara is 
and this goes for most mascaras, I actually find that I like a mascara better if I almost let it dry out a little bit. I just feel like it gets kind of even more seasoned <laughs> and just gets better. As far as drugstore mascara goes, this is freaking amazing. We're gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeshadow just down here on my lower lid. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of a lip liner. Yeah, this shade, I was trying to get my lips, but better. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. It's waterproof and it comes with a little attached sharpener. And this is in the shade 01 because, duh. Well, that's a good shade name. Because, duh. <laughs> Well, what's amazing about that is, yeah, it is very much like a, a really good nude for me. A nice kind of slim pencil so it's easy to draw. But I did get a gloss. This is called the Glow and Gold's Caring Shimmer Lip Oil. Just gonna get this brush all gooped up. I'm gonna add a little bit of color on the lower Lash line, I'm gonna dip in a little bit to that lighter matte shade and a little bit of the gray and go right in. Here we are, a mostly full face of Essence. My standout products I would say is the mascara, but I already knew that, I love the mascara. Uh, the lip liner is awesome. Love that shade. And then I would say, hmm, maybe the primer. I felt like it really did help with like blurring of the skin. Um, I, I want to like the concealer and the foundation, but I feel like my skin today is just kind of being difficult, so I have to keep working with that and let you know. So I can post an update in the comments section uh, once I've kind of worked with it a little bit and let you guys know how it went. But yeah, overall, I feel like Essence is such a good, affordable makeup brand. And they have really nice, like, travel size eyeshadow palettes. You know, they're not the most pigmented <clears throat> eyeshadows in the world. But again, if you're just looking for like a quick eye look, something you don't wanna have to work really hard at, I feel like these are really good for that. If you've ever tried Essence or any of their products, comment down below and let me know what your favorite stuff is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support and love on these videos. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.